so in this lecture we are going to discuss the selective permeability of protein channels in the last lectures we have uh, discussed that there are a lot of protein uh, channels in the cell membrane and some of them are gated some are ungated some of them are specific one or for one type of electrolytes or molecules or ions and other type of protein channels are selective for some other type of proteins or electrolytes or ions but how exactly are they selective how they recognize the type of ion or molecule that will be allowed to through that specific channel and how they will not allow other type of um, uh, proteins or molecules or ions so here we will take um, an example of two different types of protein channels one is the sodium channel and the other is the potassium channel so this is a cell membrane this is also a cell membrane and here we have uh, shown the sodium channels and we we have shown the potassium channels there are some uh, differences between the channels as well as the ions so some differences between the sodium channel and the sodium ion and some differences between the pot potassium channel and the potassium ion normally the shape the structure the diameter and the charge of the channel will decide that it will allow which type of ions to pass to pass through it so in the case of sodium channel it is slightly bigger in size while in the case of potassium channel it is slightly small in size in this case of sodium channel the channel is very much negatively charged more on the inside of the cell membrane or plasma membrane while in case of uh, potassium channel it is not negatively charged it is negatively sodium channel is negatively charged more on the inside of the more on the inside of the uh, cell membrane while there is no uh, specific charge on the potassium channel the sodium channel is gated on the outside while the potassium channel is mostly mostly gated on the inside of the cell membrane as we have previously discussed the concentration of sodium is more on the outside this outside of the cell or the extracellular fluid and we have also discussed the concentration of potassium is more on inside the cell or it is more in intracellular fluid if we consider the shape of the sodium ion it mostly attract it attracts the sodium uh, the water molecule and the water molecules surrounding the sodium channel they are larger in size but the sodium channel is positively char uh, sodium is positively charged and the channel for sodium is negatively charged the opening or closing of the sodium or potassium gate is a separate topic but once the gates are opened after the opening of the gate what are the factors that will decide that whether the ion will be allowed through it and or not and which ion will be allowed through it and which will not be allowed so when the sodium channel gate is opened it allows it is negatively charged so it pulls the sodium ions the sodium ions from the water molecule and the sodium is able to pass from outside towards the inside of the cell most of the time when the uh, cell membrane is negatively charged the the gate of the sodium channel is closed but once the cell membrane loses its uh, negativity on the inside the gate mostly gets open how they lose the negativity how the charge is gained and how the charge is lost that's a separate story and same is true for the potassium channel 
when the potassium channel is closed this potassium ions will not be allowed to pass through it but once the potassium channel is opened the potassium channel will be the potassium ion will be allowed to pass through it but the potassium channel does not have sufficient amount of charge to pull the potassium ion from the water surrounding the potassium the sodium channel has sufficient charge to pull the sodium out of the water molecule and the sodium will be able to pass through it but potassium channel has no sufficient charge to allow the potassium to come out of the water molecule and pass through it but fortunately the sodium channel is large it is large in size and it will allow the sodium to pass through it but to, the potassium channel is not large in size it's small in size it will allow the potassium to pass through it along with the water, the water molecule but it will not allow the sodium to pass through it along with the water molecule and the reason being the sodium is surrounded by large molecule of water molecule while the potassium channel is surrounded by small molecules of water so here the, there are few differences one is that sodium channel are charged their opening and get, uh, and closing of the gates is a separate story we are not discussing that here but the channels are charged the channels are larger in size and they have the capacity to pull the sodium out of the large water molecule and it allows the sodium to move inside the cell the potassium channel are smaller in size they are not charged and when they get the gates get opened they allow the potassium to pass through it along with the water molecule but they will not allow the sodium to pass through it because they are small in size and the water molecule surrounding the sodium are large in size so the small gate channels will not allow the large sodium surrounded by large water molecule but it will allow the potassium ion so that's how the selectivity of the channel is decided that's how ch these channels become selective that's how it differentiate they differentiate between the ions and that's how it allows the passage of one ion or the other regarding the opening or closing of the gates that's a big story but the channel the gates of the sodium are, uh, sodium channel are on the outer mem outside of the membrane while the gates of the potassium are on the inner side of the membrane the gates of both the sodium and potassium are get opened with the loss of negativity the more the negative the inside of the uh, plasma membrane the gates the the tightness will be more the closing and the tightness of the gates will be more and it will not allow the sodium to pass through it once the negativity on the inside of the membrane decreases then the gates get open and it allows the sodium how the negativity decrease it could be due to uh, action potential like uh, electric gating we have discussed that the gating could uh, could the gate could be opened and closed electrically or it could be ligand gated or it could be mechanically so that's uh, there are, that's a separate discussion similarly the potassium channel they get opened when the inside of the cell membrane gets more positive the gate from the inside will get open and it will allow the potassium most of the time to go outside the cell because the concentration of the potassium is more inside the cell and it will allow the potassium to go outside the cell the same rule apply here the gate could be opened or closed electrically or mechanically or due to the binding of any type of ligand or chemical so that's how the selective permeability of the protein channels is decided hope you have understood this topic thanks a lot for watching